To determine whether CBr4 is ionic or covalent, let's first look at the periodic table divided into metals, metalloids, and nonmetals. So we find carbon, and that's right here. So carbon's a nonmetal, and then bromine, bromine's down here, and that's also a nonmetal. So when we have two or more nonmetals bonded together, we have a covalent, also called a molecular compound. So CBr4, that's a covalent compound. What that means is we have this carbon here. You can look at the Lewis structure. The carbon's bonded to four bromine atoms. And these pairs of electrons between the carbon and the bromine atoms, those are the chemical bonds. And because it's a covalent compound, they're shared between the carbon and the bromine. Sometimes you'll see it written like this to show you a little bit about the 3D structure. But again, these are all shared pairs of electrons. They're shared because it's a covalent or molecular compound. This is Dr. B answering the question whether CBr4, carbon tetrabromide, is ionic or covalent. It is a covalent compound. Thanks for watching.